So it's been a while since we've done a video and we just wanted to touch base with everybody and let them know that we are still going to be making videos and we have some other projects that we want to finish as well as get started. Mm -hmm. We've been super busy with company. Yeah, that's what happens when you live in a place where people vacation to, they come and vacation to you, <laughs> which we don't mind. Last year, we moved here last year and we had company from May till, well, December, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so that's what's happening here this year too. So um, it's not that we don't want to be uh, putting up what we're doing um, but yeah it's just it's just tougher with company yeah we still want to connect with you guys and make sure that you know what we're up to because summer is the best time around here well that's not true every season is but anyway I'm rambling what are we up to babe uh, well on the note of making videos we had a couple technical issues with our drone we lost it on our waterfall video so we've replaced it we've got another one which is good so that's also part of the reason we, re we really like to have the drone footage um, yeah. we think it's it really helps show where we live and other than that yeah we've been up to the lake house has got a lot of progress so we will have a video out for that pretty soon and michelle's been gardening her mm. face off um, the garden it's right here we will show you stay <laughs> tuned in the video for that but I know when Janine was here, we did um, a garden tour, but I mean, so much has progressed since then. And I know a lot of you have been following me since planting the seedlings indoors. So you're probably anxious to know how that's worked out for me. And it's been great. Honestly, there's been a few things that I've learned in terms of what to plant in the greenhouse in certain times of the year and heat and sun and all those things. So we can touch on that today. So, okay, so the lake house. Yeah, the lake house really which, progressing yeah we've got a lot of good footage on that one james has been busy yeah. and then around our property um we have a couple things to finish on the greenhouse uh the mm -hmm. trims to cover up the glass and we're gonna do a shosugibon uh, trim detail how do you say it shoshigibon <laughs> so mm -hmm. we're gonna go see a guy today uh he's got a local mill uh, bob Bob, yeah, he's he's quite the character. He's an yeah. old old fellow. He's 80 this year, and he's still out there milling wood. Ready to go paddleboarding? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay.
Hey, what you got? Getting some wood. Hot, hey? Eh? Yeah. Not your traditional lumber yard. It's way cooler. <laughs> if you know anything about lumber and you wanted to go buy a 2x4 from the store, that 2x4 is going to be 1.5 by 3.5 inches. And way back when, when lumber wasn't as processed, they would actually cut that 2x4, two, two inch by 4 inch. So that's how they do it here is you get a true nominal piece. So this is a one by eight. You got one inch and you got eight inch. In the store, it would be three quarter inch by seven and a quarter inch. So this is the real deal. So, and it's rough. Rough sound, not planed, but it's not graded. So because it's not graded, Home Depot won't sell it. So what we're gonna do to finish the greenhouse is we're going to cap over the glass with some more rough sawn that we just picked up. Double-sided tape was more of a temporary solution to keep the glass in place. So on the roof, it's actually working quite well. Everything's bonded. But on the verticals where water's getting in behind, you can see this is moving quite a bit. So water's got in and it has basically made the tape fail. So we're going to start with all the vertical pieces, but we have to fur it out so we can come over here. Got some furring strips. Which I ripped down. We're going to put those in place. Just so we get built out enough on the... Built out enough to put the wood, put the wood flush with the glass so we're not putting a ton of pressure on the glass. Okay, we want to do all four sides. How do I flip them? Okay, you got to wear gloves. Yeah. But it's not ready. You got to get it nice and black. It okay, like smells the, ready. Yeah, the way you can.
pulled off. Ready to go. Check out the char. You got some good char. Mm-hmm. Nice. So. So yeah, I'll be surprised if I'll be surprised if uh, this this is all real nice and tight right now. But if we don't get some shrinkage, I'll be surprised. There the sap was. Oh, it bonded. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, you like it? Mm -hmm. You always like it. Welcome to the jungle. A uh, quick uh, garden update. Snap peas. This is the greenhouse. Snap peas coming in. Tons of herbs. We've got green onions going crazy in here. Swiss chard has done really, really well. Uh, things that I had problems with as it got hotter was um, broccolis and cauliflowers so definitely can't do those in here in the greenhouse and probably should keep them for spring only and fall so less than so good in here <laughs> i know it does i don't spend enough time in here lesson ah, learned of this. it's getting attacked by the <laughs> look at james this is how much of a jungle you can barely see them. The uh, zucchinis are going crazy in here, although I don't think I'm going to grow zucchinis in the greenhouse anymore. My outside garden ones are doing so much better, but... The zucchinis are a little bit pokey. But we've got, like, little, you know, I don't know if they're going to amount to anything. And these ones towards the back have volunteered to just kind of go straight up. And they're doing much better. Kind of like if you were to trellis them up. Yeah, they're actually found their way around this shade cloth. Yeah, growing up the, the the shade cloth outside of the shade cloth. You can see right there. Um, tomatoes are tomatoes are coming in. Where do we got some? Here? There is some right here. There's two. They're still green. Hard to see right now because they're green, obviously. But and I pruned along the bottoms of all of my tomato plants. There's so many different ways to prune tomato plants. I'm not going to get into it right now, but that's how I do them. It seems to work. Uh, lettuce is doing really, really well in here. I've already cut back my mint, and I'm actually drying it there. You can see it hanging in the window. Um, peppers are doing really, really well here. Let's see, I've got one little, oop, a couple little pepper guys actually. There's one there, and one there. Little green peppers. And yeah, so definitely learning what to grow and what not to grow in the greenhouse. But I'm super happy with everything. We eat from here every single day, which is exactly what we wanted. I call that a success.